What's up? Today we're going to be creating a cool effect in Premiere Pro. This is an audio only tutorial. We're going to learn how to make a uh, audio track ring out or reverb or something rather than uh, fade out or just cut the, the sound off completely. You can have it so it rings out. I'm not doing a crazy good job of explaining this, but let's get started. So you want to grab some music. So I've got this nice uh, song here. Fantastic. Makes you think of exploring the universe. Okay. So now that we've got our song in our, in our timeline here, uh, we want to just choose a point in the song that you don't have, doesn't have to be a song. You can do this with any audio track, but I'm going to choose a point where it's sort of choose a, an appropriate point to sort of end the song. So I'm just going to choose here. All right. So I'm going to cut the song right here. And then what I'll do, oh, by the way, the way I did that is I pressed C on the keyboard that brings up your cut tool or your razor tool. And then you can cut the, cut your file just by clicking on it anyway. So I'm now going to grab the second half of the song. I'll drag it down and I'll drag it back a little bit. So it's, so they kind of overlap each other. Then I'm going to select this bottom one, a right click, and I'm going to go nest and it'll, if you want, you can call it like ring out, whoops, something like that. I don't know. Um, anyway, so now it's in its own nested sequence here. So what we want to do is cut it about there. So early on, So we'll cut it, say here, and then I'll fade it out like that. And then the problem is the composition now ends here. So what we need to do is cut it. I'll just cut that whole part out and then I'll grab this galaxy format, the same song. And I'll just drop it in here and then I will come to the volume and bring it down to negative. I believe you can go negative infinity actually, if you bring it down enough. So what that's going to do is you're not going to be able to hear it. It's just silent audio, but, um, it'll just make it so we can extend this out. And that way we can, uh, we have enough room for the reverb to occur. So if we listen to it, nothing too exciting. So let's grab a reverb effect, come into effect, search reverb drop it on here and let's listen. I'll mute this top layer for now. All right. There is actually a reverb effect happening there, but it's very subtle right now. So what I'm going to do is come to the layer, go to my reverb effect and click edit. I'm going to change the preset from small room to large room. You can also use large room dark. They both have different sounds, but I'm going to use a large room and we'll listen to that. All right, and you can hear it sort of uh, rings out rather than cutting out straight away. You've got this sort of fade. So now what I like to do is I cut it back to here and then drop it on here. And we're going to go grab uh, the constant gain effect, which is under the crossfade. So it's a constant gain crossfade, which basically means it's just going to stay the same uh, volume. I guess you could say. And then I will come into the effect controls here with my constant gain layer selected. I'm going to drag this down and I'll just listen to that for now, actually. Oops, sorry. Unmute the layer first and now I'll listen to it. And there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. That sounds pretty good, actually. And then of course you can cut it to where the uh, fade ends. That's pretty much all I have to show you. Cool. If you enjoyed this, make sure to uh, lick it and uh, subscribe and uh, follow me on YouTube. All right, see ya.